A federal judge has denied the NRA from intervening in a pistol brace lawsuit against the ATF, and this is the Second Amendment Foundation's case. Interesting here uh, how we got here, and I want to talk about it because this is a step, a slight step back, but not really. I want to tell you all about it. I also want to thank the sponsor of the video, Blackout Coffee. Check us out, blackoutcoffee.com slash G&G to help support the channel as well. We do the best coffees, teas, and hot chocolates in the land. Our 4th of July Independence Day celebration sale is going on right now. Use code 1776 to save 17.76% store-wide on everything with the exception of subscription services. You can save on hats, mugs, shirts, coffee, tea, hot chocolate, and everything else we make or have on the store. Thanks for your support. Check us out, blackoutcoffee.com slash g and Use code 1776. All right, um, so I, I told you I did a video. I'll, I'll pin it above. So we had three injunctions in this pistol brace fiasco, this uh, the, the Firearms Policy Coalition case, which is the mock, uh, mock case, and that has just been heard by uh, the Fifth Circuit. Uh, we also had the Second Amendment Foundation's case and Gun Owners of America's case. And in those three cases, there were three preliminary injunctions issued that covered the, plain, the individual plaintiffs and their family, as well as members of FPC, SAF, GOA. Now, I got a lot of people that say, Jared, where's the NRA in all of this? And I did say in a couple videos, uh, specifically the FRAC video, talking about FRAC's case, which we still haven't heard anything from. Uh, they're also hoping to get a national injunction, but we'll talk about national injunctions here as we lead into this. But the NRA is paying a substantial portion of the legal fees for the FRAC case. Now that case is moving slow and it wasn't going fast enough, so NRA, after seeing injunctions for SAF, FPC, and GOA, decided they were going to try to intervene into the Second Amendment Foundation's case to get a preliminary injunction for NRA members. But a judge just said uh, on Friday, uh, no, it's denied. Here's the case here, like I said, it's SAF's case against the ATF. It says, before the court is the National Rifle Association of America's motion to intervene. The NRA has not carried its burden for intervention as of right, and the court finds permissive intervention inappropriate in this case. Accordingly, the motion to intervene is denied. Now, I'll have a link to this uh, ruling in the description box below, but we'll go over a couple things the judge said because I think it's important to understand. He said, following the Fifth Circuit's order in Mock v. Garland, that's FPC's case, this court also issued a preliminary injunction as to plaintiffs in this case only, pending resolution of the expedited appeal in Mock. The court reasoned that although the Fifth Circuit's order limited relief to the plaintiffs in Mock, the preliminary injunction motion in Mock and the preliminary injunction motion before the court are substantially similar. The court further reasoned that Resolution of the mock appeal will almost certainly affect, if not control, the court's decision on plaintiff's motion. And like in mock, the court also limited the injunctive relief to the plaintiffs in this case only, which included the defendant Second Amendment Foundation, Inc.'s members. Less than two weeks after the court's preliminary injunction order, the NRA moved to intervene in this case. The NRA argues that because the preliminary injunction in this case was issued only as to plaintiffs, the NRA's interests are no longer adequately represented in the suit. The NRA therefore moves under federal rule of civil order 24 A and B for intervention as of right or permissive intervention respectively. Because the court finds the NRA has not met its burden for intervention under either standard, the motion is denied. The NRA contends that it only became aware of its interest in this case after the Fifth Circuit and this court issued preliminary injunctions limited to the plaintiffs in the respective cases. But that argument ignores both the particulars of this case and the rarity of nationwide injunctions. In essence, the NRA argues it was caught off guard when the court failed to issue an extraordinary remedy that plaintiffs never asked for. So the judge is saying here that the NRA's intervention is not timely. 
uh, and they knew about these cases. Everybody knew about these cases, so they more than likely should have. Uh, so it's denying their motion. And all, it, pay attention to what the judge also said, that nationwide injunctions are extremely rare, um, and they are uh, reserved for extraordinary, extraordinary circumstances. In sum, the NRA knew of the rule more than a year before it moved to intervene, and the NRA had no basis to assume a nationwide injunction would be issued in this case. Moreover, allowing an intervention under these circumstances risks incentivizing opportunistic injunction shopping under the auspices of timely interventions to protect a threatened interest. The NRA's motion is not timely. And finally, the conclusion. In sum, the court finds that the NRA is not entitled to intervention as of right because its motion is not timely and its interests are adequately represented by the plaintiffs. For similar reasons, the court exercises its discretion and declines permissive in intervention. Accordingly, the NRA's motion to intervene is denied. So ordered Friday, June 30th, 2023. And this is Judge Jane Boyle, United States District Court Judge. So Judge Jane Boyle is a, it's a W appointee and uh, she's just basically saying, look, the NRA knew about this case and they didn't do this in a timely manner, manner like it's required for intervention, so we're not gonna let them intervene. And, uh, you know, like I said in my previous video, it, it, to me, it's not a good look for the NRA where their case that they're involved in monetarily, not as a plaintiff, wasn't going fast enough, so they decided to jump on another uh, case uh, to, in, in my opinion, in an attempt to get us a, a win, a quick win for its members. So the cases will continue to go forth and that for people who have, believe me, I get a lot of pushback on, you know, why are you talking about the NRA? Why are you poo-pooing on the NRA? Um, because, and I've said in the, in the previous videos, NRA, I want to see them have skin in the game. I want them to be a plaintiff. Uh, because they're not a plaintiff in any of these cases, it's the judges right now are saying it's for the, the injunctions are for the plaintiffs. So if you're not an actual plaintiff in a lawsuit, they're not giving you the injunction. Uh, and NRA was trying to tag on Second Amendment foundations. But I will say this. The Second Amendment Foundation tweeted this out in response to NRA's intervention being denied. They said, we will definitely welcome any NRA members wanting to join Second Amendment Foundation. And that's from my buddy, Adam Kraut. Um, I will have a link in the description, like I do of every video, if you would like to support those who support you. Or if you're an NRA member and want to join the Second Amendment Foundation, link is down below and in the pinned comment. The SAF is saying if you're an NRA member and you join, you'll be covered by the injunction. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, that's an option for you. And I'm sure that uh, we'll see more from these lawsuits going forward. Mock case has already been heard by the 5th and I'll let you know what happens as soon as we have something coming from that, uh, from those judges. So if you want to stay in the know, then subscribe to Guns and Gadgets down below. I bring you everything from litigation to legislation and everything in between, even on Sundays like today. Guys and gals, I appreciate each and every single one of you. My birthday's coming up July 25th, so if you could maybe throw me a subscription, that would be awesome. Subscribe to the channel down below, like and share the video so it gets out of the anti-gun YouTube algorithm, and turn that bell notification on to all notifications you get notified of when I go live or put out new content. And thank you for your support. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.